Okay, the best sign that I always look for is are the tendrils. So this, this is called a, a tendril right here, okay? And you look at the tendrils, not the tendril, see the, the stem coming out of the melon, there's a tendril right there. Don't look at this one, but look at the next tendril up and you see that it's dried up. You can also look at the next tendril down this way and you'll see that it's dried up. So that is that is that that means that it's ripe. When the tendrils that are uh, next to the stem are, are dried up, it'll be ripe. Sometimes you can flip them over and see a color on the other side, like a yellow color, but that's not always a telltale sign. Just always look for the tendrils and you'll be good to go. So this one needs to be picked. Okay, here's another one. You can see the tendril right at the stem where the stem comes out of the melon is, is green, but then the next tendril down right here is dry. And then I look back here and this tendril is dried up also. So this guy is ready to pick. And looking at the other side, you know, you can see it's yellow on the, on the back side. Um, but again, not, you won't always see a yellow color on the back side depending on the type of melon and, and other circumstances. So just always use the tendrils as your, uh, as your method of knowing. And then also you can tap on them sometimes and, and, and you know, if they have a really tight feel when you tap on them, then you might think they're ready. But I would just go with the tendrils, that's the best way.